Hi everyone, welcome to King Worldwide. My name is Lisa, this is my dad, Roy. Yeah, my name is Roy. Today's topic <laughs> is love, but don't just check out, think you know love. It's very, very different than the world's way of love. And my dad, Roy, is going to explain that today. And every, if and, we were and, all walking in love, we would be perfect, but. And the title is the number one kind of love. Okay, our last few broadcasts focused on the first covenant, which is a covenant between God and Abram, and his name was changed later to Abraham. And the second covenant, that was a covenant between God and Jesus. All born-again Christians, like you and us, are beneficiaries of the first covenant. Why? Because we're the seed of Abraham, and we're beneficiaries of the second covenant, because we're joint heirs with Jesus and heirs of God. Now, a blood covenant <clears throat> is the most serious and binding commitment a man can have or make with another person. Jesus redeemed us from the curse. Yes. And you're gonna hear you're gonna hear the verse in a minute. Jesus redeemed us from the curse of the law, so that the blessing of Abraham, remember we're the seed of Abraham, the blessing of Abraham could bless all of mankind. Here's the verse. Okay, friends. Every scripture today is going to be from the NLT. Galatians. NLT. <laughs> New Living Translation. Galatians 3, verses 13 and 14. But Christ has rescued us from the curse pronounced by the law. When he was hung on the cross, he took upon himself the curse for our wrongdoing. For it is written in the scriptures, Cursed is everyone who is hung on a tree. Through Christ Jesus, God has blessed the Gentiles with the same blessing he promised to Abraham, so that we who are believers might receive the promised Holy Spirit through faith. Good. As a result of God's everlasting love, we are in him, we're in God, and God is in us. Mm -hmm. Verse number two. John fourteen seventeen. He is the Holy Spirit who leads into all truth. The world cannot receive him because it isn't looking for him and doesn't recognize him. But you know him because he lives with you now and later will be in you. Well, he's in us now too. Correct. So, what is this God kind of love? It's not a feeling. Love is a person. And here's the thing I want you, I want you to remember, if nothing else from this broadcast. God is love. The words are synonymous. God is love. Okay, go. First John 4, 8. But anyone who does not love does not know God. For God is love. God has faith, but God is love. Just stop and think about first. God has faith, but God is love. He is love. Love is a spiritual force that abides in every born-again Christian believer by the Holy Spirit. Verse? Galatians 5, verses 22 and 23. And I actually had the page, and I moved it. Okay. <laughs> the Holy Spirit. I like your little orange tab Thank there. you. I'm glad they're working so well. Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit in our lives. Love, joy, peace. Patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. There's no law against these things. Okay. Love took up residence in us when we made Jesus the Lord of our life. Verse. <laughs> Romans 5. Wow, you're good. 5-5. Five, five. I'm a little bit just not really. I'm, I'm on it right now, right now. And this hope will not lead to disappointment, for we know how dearly God loves us, because he has given us the Holy Spirit to fill our hearts with love. Now, what is, the, what is this God kind of love? In fact, the incomparable faith of God, the faith of God, will not work without this agape love. Now, what's agape love? Agape love is... There's no strings attached, and you expect nothing back in return. 
I was talking to a good friend of mine just the other day, and uh, he's in college, and I gave him this example as far as his agape love, because we were talking about agape love. And I told him, I said, you go, it's not you go, it's <laughs> you go to, uh, I think it's a grade school, and they speak, and I think it's all Hispanics, and you go to the grade school uh, every week. Oh, you're saying <clears> that what the, what the friend does? Yeah, my friend, he goes to the grade school every week, and he teaches English to the students. That speak Spanish. That speak Spanish. And and that is a perfect example yes. of agape love. Why is that? First of all, he expects nothing back in return because mm -hmm. what are they going to do for him? Children. And then number two, mm -hmm. there's no strings are attached. He goes and he gives out of love for helping them. Oh, wow. So and it, it was a great example, and I think I really connected with him as far as when, when I explained that. That's awesome. This agape love is essential for our success and victory as a believer that we walk in the God kind of love as Jesus commanded. Verse. John 13, 34. So now I'm giving you a new commandment. Love each other just as I have loved you. You should love each other. Each of us as born again Christians. We have the agape love in us. Mm-hmm. And how do we how do we get it? How do we exercise it? How do we get it out? Well, how we do that is that we press into the Word, we press into the Holy Spirit in order for our mind to hook up with our spirit, because our spirit has got the the agape love in it when we accepted Jesus our Lord and mm -hmm. Savior. But in my case, and I think everybody's case. What happens is that most of our thoughts come from the world system, which is contrary to agape love. So if we're not proactive mm -hmm. in putting the word, just like uh, Romans 12, 2 says, we've got to be transformed. Our mind's got to be transformed by the renewing of our mind. We've got to be proactive in doing that or it ain't going to work. And, and agape love is going to take a back seat to the natural uh, implementation of what of love what we do here on earth in that regard this is probably backwards and you're not going to be able to see it so maybe I can flip the video yeah but th this is uh, three translations of 1 Corinthians uh, 14 13. 13 4 through 8 or some are 3 through 8 but yes all right the uh, I read this every morning me too now well, good. And, so does and, Mom. So does Sally. Good. You read it, Sally? Yes. She is. All right. The director reads it, too. So now here, here's the reason why, because I think I think next week in the broadcast next week, I think we're going to continue this subject of love. And here's the reason why is that the walking in love is the most supernatural thing that we can do in life. Mm hmm walking in love. So as I just mentioned, as far as the difference between a mind, which is worldly and the spirit, which is, which is godly, the more of this, at least it's worked for me, the more of this we can put in our mind, the more we're going to sync up with our spirit. And if that is the most powerful, powerful mm -hmm. supernatural thing that we can do, doesn't it make sense in order to kind of focus on this little bad boy and just, I mean, just kind of put it in your mind, your brain, if you could. Yes, sir, it well, does. Well, <laughs> it's it, changed it, us. It's, it, I'm going to tell you, it's changed me big time because uh, I can tell in every walk of life for me, or every situation, this pops up. This situ every situation. Yeah, this pops up. So Same. Uh, same here. Okay. Well, same I thought here. you told me to say something. Well, I do. I want you oh, to. Oh, well, you can get it on our website. Um, www.kingworldwide.com and then you go to resources and then one sheets and one other tip I wanted to share that I learned let, let me say that what I suggest you do too I want you to print it out and laminate it okay. and that way you can take it with you and you beat it around like that and it won't get the face or you can do like me and write all over it and print another one but I just learned from Holy Spirit through brother Kevin that when you replace the word love with God 
you will have an under we have an understanding of how much God loves us because God is patient God is kind God finds no fault like people that have a challenge with self-esteem or worth when you read replace God and says he pays no attention to a suffered wrong and then over here I think it said um, does not bears up under anything ever ready to believe the best of every person so God is always believing the best of us but if we have a low self-esteem we need to keep meditating on this so you can use your word document and replace love with God God with love I like, I like it that's good okay praise God okay have a good day. thanks dad sure. thanks mom